This is the PBS Studio channel. Here we are at the end of the first half of 2022, so we guess it's time to tell you about the new features that appeared in PBS Studio in the first half of this year. But first, subscribe to our channel so as not to miss our new videos. Ready? So let's get started! Now PVS Studio supports Unreal Engine 5. If you're using it in your project and you still haven't tried PVS Studio, this update is a clear sign to finally give it a shot. We keep enhancing PVS Studio's integration with Unreal Engine 4 and 5 and adding many new features. In new versions, you can suppress warnings on legacy code directly from plugins for Rider and Visual Studio. The analysis of projects with the Unreal Engine API has also undergone changes. We annotated containers and the functions so our analyzer can better detect errors in your projects. Enhancements are included in the PVS Studio 7.20 release. Moreover, we have significantly modified and expanded our documentation to make it easier to navigate. Wanna read it? The link is in the description. Great news for CL monitoring users. The compiler monitoring utility for Windows got new mechanism that completely eliminates missed compiler launches. The compilation process sometimes ran so fast that the monitoring utility didn't have time to intercept it and failed to run the analysis for all compiled files. This was especially troublesome for developers who write code for embedded platforms. We fixed it, so if you faced such an issue before, it's time to try PV Studio again. My teammate wrote an article about how we defeated this evil. Check it out, the link is also in the description. We are focused on detecting errors and vulnerabilities at the early stages of the product's development. Now the analyzer can detect even more security defects. PVS Studio 7.18 covers 9 out of 10 categories from the OWASP Top 10 2021. For those unfamiliar, the OWASP Top 10 is a list of the most critical security risks to web applications. The Software Composition Analysis category is covered in the 7.20 release. PVS Studio keeps enhancing the CWE classifications coverage. We recently published the article reviewing the changes in the CWE Top 25 2022 and the correspondence between the CWE categories and the PVS Studio diagnostic rules. You know where to find the link. The C and C++ analyzer got the updated semantic analysis system based on the new type system. Now PVS Studio understands more than C++ better. The standard library, complex constructions, templates. Diagnostics have become more accurate, which means they detect more potentially unsafe code fragments and issue fewer false positives. Now the C and C++ analyzer supports C6000CGT, the compiler for embedded systems developed by Texas Instruments. Moreover, the analyzer better recognizes the target platform for the QNX Momentix QCC compilers. In previous versions, the analyzer incorrectly recognized the target platform and issued false positives. See the full list of supported languages and compilers by following the link in the description. The analyzer's enhancement is certainly a good thing, but we should also maintain great user experience. For this purpose, PVS Studio has full-fledged plugins for Visual Studio, IntelliJ IDEA, C Lion, and Rider. You can view PVS Studio reports in Visual Studio Code 2. To do this, you need to convert a PVS Studio report into a serif format and open it with the serif viewer extension. As for now, we strive to move forward and explore the possibility of implementing full-fledged plugins for VS Code and Qt Creator. We look forward to sharing more information about it with you in our upcoming releases. This is not the whole list of enhancements and new features. You can always check out the rest in the Release History section on our website. In the meantime, you can learn a little more about other features of PVS Studio. And that's it for now! See you in the next video!